What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to fix this DLL missing error that you could be receiving whenever you're trying to fire up a game or a program or do something specific on your computer. If you see this error, don't worry, nothing bad is happening. All that's gone wrong is that your computer is missing a specific DLL file or it's become corrupt or unreachable for some other reason. These files are needed as they contain bits of code that programs use. Without them, they can't function properly. And these DLL files are distributed by Microsoft themselves through official installers. So if you've come across a video telling you to download DLLs, you definitely shouldn't follow them. You should always get the official installer from the official source to get the DLLs in them. Anyways, with that warning out of the way, let's go ahead and download the installer to fix this error. I'll open up the link in the browser. You'll find it in the description down below. You should see a page that looks something like this. Microsoft.com, Visual Studio 2015, 2017, 2019, and 2022. All you need to do is locate where it says x86, and then click the link to the right-hand side of it, and do the same for the next link, x64. Click the link here. Then, two files will be downloaded onto your computer, both around 25 or 24 megabytes. It doesn't really matter what way you open these, but you just need to open one, install it, and then the other. So for me, I'll run the 86 version first, as it's at the bottom of my list. When you see this pop-up, Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 to 2019 redistributable, all you have to do is click I agree, followed by install. Then when prompted for admin, click yes, wait for the installation to complete, and then click close. I'll head back to my browser, open the downloads again with Control J, or of course you can navigate across to the downloads folder, and open up the other file, in my case, the 64-bit version. Simply agree once again, install, click yes when prompted for admin, wait for the installation to complete, and then click close. It's that simple. You should be able to open up programs and games and use them immediately if they were giving you errors. However, if you're still receiving an error, try rebooting your computer and then try the applications once more. If you're still receiving errors, Hit the start button on your keyboard, then we'll be searching for CMD. Right click command prompt and then click run as administrator. Click yes when prompted for admin and inside of this window over here, type in SFC space forward slash scan now, one word. Hit enter and Windows will begin to check through its own files for any issues and errors. If it encounters a broken file, something that's missing, etc., it'll be downloaded from Microsoft's official website or brought from elsewhere on your computer to repair the missing files, folders, etc. At the end of this process, you'll be told if it's successful or not. And there we go. You can see mine ran properly without finding any issues. However, if it found issues, it'll tell you here and tell you if it repaired them. Anyways, that's about it for this quick guide. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobi here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.